Hey everyone, um, long time no upload. I think it's been around three years since I uploaded my video for Natas 7. Um, so yeah, this one's long overdue. But it's always been my intention to come back and to finish the the Natas series. Uh, and then going forward from there, I hope to make some more educational, instructional videos surrounding like coding, computer science, mathematics, maybe web security, this kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so or anything basically in those areas that might be useful to to people. Um, so if, if anyone is watching this um, and they have something that they could really do with having clarified, um, yeah, please leave any suggestions in the comments. Um, that would be super handy, super helpful. Uh, yeah, okay, and so with that being said, I hope everyone's okay, and uh, let's do Natas 8 next. Uh, so we we log in, I've already logged in, obviously, and um, the application asks us to input a secret. So we can input a secret, and we can view the source code, and I start by just typing something in randomly. Um, to see what happens when I submit a string. And the, the app um, comes back to me with wrong secret. So uh, my guess, I'm sure your guess as well, is that if we input the correct secret, it's going to provide us the password for Natas9. So we need to find um, what that input is what the secret is that we need to place in here um, and so the way we're going to have to do that is by looking at the source code of the of the app um, so we can do that by clicking um, on there i don't know why my pen decided not to click properly for a second um, yeah and you can see that we're given the html code um, for this app but you can also see um, and Chrome browser nicely highlights highlights it as well. Is that um, or you know gives it highlight syntax highlighting? Um, is this uh, PHP code here? You tell it's PHP code by the tags um, and by sort of like the prefix dollar signs and a few uh, PHP looking things, as well as it being in a HTML document. Um, so that's what's going to be interesting to us. That's that's going to be the code that processes what we send, um, and is going to give us the 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 answer essentially. Um, one thing to note is that this source code that it's showing us with the PHP is the source code as it would exist on the web server. Um, in the browser, we don't receive this PHP we receive what the PHP evaluates to. Um, I'm not sure if, if you're not familiar. Um, so we've got sort of our computer and the server, um, this being like the over the wire server, and we're sending it a get request or a post request. We're requesting um, the page from the server. And on the server, the page looks like this. Um, and it runs PHP, it processes this PHP file um, with, with the PHP program, which takes this code and evaluates it to HTML, um, and then it sends us back, it sends us the resulting HTML document. Um, so we get sent this when this has all been evaluated, um, and so we don't see any of this in our browser. And just to sort of clarify that, if we go back and we view the source of the HTML that we received, you can see that there's no PHP in there. So I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, and let's continue then. So let's look at the at the PHP. So we've got this encoded secret variable which is just a string. Um, we have a function, encode secret, which takes a, uh, an argument or a parameter um, secret and then runs some 
does some stuff to it and then a conditional block um, and so if we look at this conditional block first you can see that it's it's looking to see if there's an array key um, called submit in the post super global variable so the post super global variable being a variable that contains all of the name value pairs of information that we have sent from our client to the server as a post request. That's a bit of a, uh, a mouthful, but essentially when we submit the form, this form, this post um, form here with our secret that we put in um, and the submit button, we send a post request and that information that we've sent, namely the secret, um, is available in this variable. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, so basically it's looking to see if we've submitted something, um, it looks and takes the, the secret that we've sent and then encodes it using this function and then compares the result of that against this variable, which is this. So this string essentially. So it checks to see if the secret we put in when encoded with this function is the same as this. If it's the same as that, then we go down this branch of the conditional and we get an access granted and it's gonna give us the password for NATUS9, which they've removed um, from the source code and else it's gonna print wrong secret which we've already, we've already been down that uh, branch of the conditional uh, when we just typed in a load of random letters. Okay, so the, the problem then reduces down to, um, to figuring out what we have to send for this to encode it to this as the result. Because um, then that will be, that will, uh, this condition will then become true. Um, so yeah, so it means reversing this function. We've been given an output, this, and we need to find what the input is to get to that output. Um, so we need to reverse this function and all this, like, which basically means we need to reverse everything that this function is doing. Um, and what this function is doing is it's running some inbuilt PHP functions um, on the the parameter, uh, the argument that we pass in. Um, so it's running base64 in code, and then it takes the result of that, puts it into string reverse, takes the result of that, and puts it into bin to hex, and then returns the resulting value. So I've sort of, in a secondary page on this whiteboard, I've kind of put what we what we're trying to do here so we, we, we give it an input and the input kind of runs through these three functions and was and ends in an output and we've been given the output and we need to go this way to get to the input um, and so what that means is that at each stage we need to reverse what happened to the input so we need to kind of take the output and reverse this bin to hex function and then we need to reverse the string reverse that happened to it and then we need to reverse the base 64 encoding um, and we should end at the input that was used to create that output I hope I hope that's clear as well um, this is kind of the way you would reverse something like that so how do we reverse each function well, we need to look up and see what each function does. So let's just look PHP bin to hex. We can find the official documentation. Um, if we click, we can see that it converts binary data into a hexadecimal string. Uh, the, the thing is, we don't really even need to know what the function does. So it's handy to know, obviously, but yeah, in terms of just solving this problem, we don't need to know that much. We just need to figure out how to reverse it. Um, and in PHP documentation, there is 
this see also section. And what jumps out straight away is this hex to bin function, which decodes a hexadecimally encoded binary string. So that looks to be the reverse of the bin to hex function. So I'm going to say maybe that's what we need to use here. So let's look up PHP string reverse next. I'm calling it string reverse because I know it's a, I know that's what it does. Um, it's easier to say than str rev or whatever we want to say. Um, it reverses a string. And so straight away, again, we sort of think, well, how do we reverse reversing a string? Well, we do the same thing again. We reverse that again. So in that, in that way, um, we can say, well, string reverse is kind of its own, um, its own reverse, if you, if you get what I mean, its own inverse. Um, and that leads us to base64 encode. Encode, PHP. And this is how I would do it, basically. This is how I would figure out this um, problem. And again, there's a base64 decode function. So again, I'm not really even going to look too much at what they do. Um, I mean, personally, I would just because I'd be interested, you know, if I didn't know what base64 encoding was. Um, so I think this is kind of the path we need to take to get back to the input. Um, so now it's just a case of running our output through these three functions to see what we get on the other side. Um, and so to do that, I'm going to do that in my terminal. Uh, so if I open up my terminal, and one of the nice things about PHP, if we look at the man pages, is that there is this flag where we can run PHP interactively which means we don't need to sort of um, write a PHP file and then run it. We can just run some PHP commands in the terminal if we use this flag. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do PHP with the A flag, um, which gives us this interactive shell. Um, and this is where we're going we're gonna to write our sort of reverse um, function. Um, and the way I'll do that is take this secret, which is what we need to reverse, and put that straight in. Um, and then I'm not even going to write a function. I'm just going to take the, um, let's call it secret the variable, and we know what we need to do, because we've got it on this whiteboard. We need to run hex to bin first. Um, so we're going to run that against our encoded secret. But then it's not just that that we need to do. We need to take that and run it through string reverse. So we'll do a string reverse on that, bear with me whilst I go back and forward. Um, and there's going to be one more function wrapping this. And that is our base64 decode. Yeah. So that is our result, we hope. Um, and now we can just echo it. Uh, which is this. So I'm going to copy that. And so in theory, that should be the input. That should be the input that evaluates to this when you run it through this function. So we'll take that, go back, and we'll put that in here and hit submit. And you can see that it um, evaluates 
it hit that conditional so we, we know it it evaluated to the right thing to the right string um, and it's given us the password for natas9 um, okay so i hope that helps sorry if it's a little bit long uh, i try to make sure i explain every everything um, but if if it's too long or too short um, please uh, yeah let me know um, and uh, okay i'll see you in the the next one thank you